Hello and welcome to the finals of 2011. This is a mini series that I should be doing with Matt, also known as Zurix. I will put a link to his channel in the description. You should go check him out if you like FIFA. He does a lot of FIFA stuff and he's starting to gain a little bit of recognition for what he's been doing. If you like FIFA, you'll not be disappointed. Please go check him out. Um, this first final of 2011 is the epic Johnston's Paint Trophy final. I know what you're thinking. You are so excited to watch this, but not as excited as we were to play it. <laughs> it's between Carlisle and Brentford. Uh, Matt is Carlisle, I am Brentford. The actual match finished 1-0 to Carlisle at Wembley, but this is neither at Wembley, nor does it finish 1-0. So stay tuned. It's quite entertaining. Uh, well, <laughs> I'd say so. Um, in terms of ability, myself and Matt are fairly evenly matched. I mean, he is better than me. Uh... But I can give him a good game and I can beat him from time to time. But yeah, we'll be trying to do as many finals as we possibly can during this series. There are certain ones we can't do because the teams are not in FIFA. And there's certain ones we won't do. Like the World Cup final because it wasn't in 2011. It really is that simple. Um, <laughs> Matt has the first chance there. Going, I won't say going close with the old uh, free kick. But it was on target. As is this shot from McDonald. <laughs> Decent save from his keeper. I would have been surprised had that gone in to be fair. Uh, but it's, this game was slow paced and because, the, well not slow paced because we're rubbish at the game but because the teams are very slow, I mean they're League 1 teams, not exactly the greatest teams in the world so there wasn't much skill going on, there wasn't many slick passing moves per se but Mike Donald takes out three of his defenders with one pass and Alexander makes no mistake with that finish to put Brentford, come on Brentford, 1-0 uh, up after 27 minutes I was fairly happy because it was close until then. The, 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 the two chances you saw earlier were pretty much the only chances up until that point. But my lead lasts all of, what, five, six seconds? Ball over the top, catches me out every so often. And I wasn't even paying attention. I wasn't ready for it. And Curran makes no mistake with his finish either. So that's 1-1. One, one. Uh, might as well not have bothered scoring. Should have still been nil nil <laughs> because there was no. I was never really in the lead technically, was I? You know? Six seconds doesn't really count as a lead. But again, not much happened in the first half. Bit of midfield passing, tackling. Uh, that was a foul, definitely a foul. And this free kick lets you get introduced to possibly the greatest player uh, in English football today. He is called M. Bean, or Mr. Bean, as I shall call him from now on. And he, he is tremendous. Bean is, is simply, <laughs> simply a legend with this tame, weak, and pointless free kick. What a retard. <laughs> uh, this is the, what you're about to see here is pretty much what the first half consisted of. I don't even know if that was a shot. If it was, it was rubbish. I think it was a pass, but it went down as a shot. Um, bad passing and speculative efforts like this one from Taiwo. Yeah, that was that was that was really gonna go in. Good effort. <laughs> These players are terrible. But from the resultant goal kick. I do some fairly nice play to keep the ball. Weston holds onto it fairly nicely, nearly loses it. Um, but once he does get his pass away, Tudor Jones dummies it and he takes a one touch and bam. Ho ho! What a way to go 2 1 up. And he slides in his stomach to celebrate. I am, I'm a fan of that celebration. I'm a fan of that goal, to be fair. <laughs> Thank you, Tudor Jones. You put me in the lead. And I, I was feeling pretty good after this goal because you don't, you don't expect that kind of shot to go in. I mean, granted, the keeper's just as shit as the players on the field, but <laughs> that is how the first half ended anyway. 2-1. Not a bad first half. Like I say, close. You'll see. I think the stats pop up. I'm not sure. Yeah, 5-4, four, 4-3 four in terms of shots. Possession was fairly similar as well. But into the second half, uh, I'm looking to hold on to that lead. But it doesn't really happen. I lose the ball on the attack. And Zurich's Matt, you know, if he's counter-attacking, I'm trying, I'm trying desperately here to hold the back four line because I know sort of how to defend against him, but that fake shot gets me nearly every time. And Curran gets his second of the game with a lovely toe-poked power finish uh, straight into the corner. That was so perfectly placed, the keeper didn't really have a chance. I'm still slightly annoyed that the keeper didn't get a hand to it. He must have missed it in the wrong place, but uh, eh, fair enough. Two all. And here we begin. The, the amazingness of Bean. Amazingness is now a word. Here he falls on his arse and fails to keep the ball in. And not much later, from, <laughs> from this uh, free kick, Bean fails again. Here we go. Bean with a pass. No, straight back to blue. 
Oh, what a tip Bean is. I, mean, <laughs> I, I don't know, just something about Bean that ruined this game. And here we go, Bean failing to get out of the way. Oh, Bean, what are you trying to do to me? He didn't have a second half that he would like to remember anyway. Alexander goes close with this effort. I, I really wish he'd have hit the target there, but you know, he's a shitty little bronze player probably. Um, <laughs> he plays for Brentford. How good are Brentford? Not very, is the is the answer to that question. I don't even know why I asked it. Um, <laughs> Curran goes close here, hits the crossbar. Uh, but yeah, we've had two chances, so let's not let's not, you know let's not get ahead of ourselves because Bean is about to fail again. Thank you, Bean. I, I, there are no words to describe just how bad this player is. And here he goes again. Bean with the ball. Plenty of time. Plenty of space. Fails again. You know, I'm pretty sure he was... He was At this stage, he was just out to sabotage Brentford. Clearly, and there, at the end of the, at the, end of the game, he gets tackled again. Well done, Bean. Thank you for your efforts. You're an absolute artard. Uh, please never play for me again. I probably should have substituted him, but, you know, there's reasons I don't. <laughs> Mainly because I can't be bothered to go to substitutions. But this is a final. So extra time and penalties is the only way forward. And things do not go particularly well for me. Uh, I'm wise to this ball now, so I've always got a defender there. So ha ha to you, Matt. You will not get me twice in the same game. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, you just can't do it, mate. You know. <laughs> but Alexander goes close here. And from the resultant corner, things go from bad for me, because I missed the... to totally, totally worse. And, you know, I can't really blame Bean. I still do. He wasn't even part of this attack, but... <laughs> um, it, it's... You know, it, this is pathetic. I don't even know what my defender was doing. He should have been following that striker, or Curran. And my keeper, it could go either way, but go straight back. You know, 50-50 chance of a rebound to me, 50-50 chance of a rebound to him. He wins and scores. Damn. Uh, I, I was a bit saddened by this, <laughs> because I could not believe that it was going to take a crappy little rebound. But there's, you know, Bean failing again in the first half of extra time. And, yeah, I get another free kick. And, of course, there's only one person to take it. It's Bean. But rather than actually, you know, put any placement on it, he decides, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hit it really f***ing hard at this goalkeeper. Bam! Thanks, Bean. I, I appreciate your efforts, son. But, in the second half of extra time, someone must have shouted at Bean and said, if you don't start bucking up your ideas, I'm going to kill you. And so this happens. Bean, you know, plays a 1-2 and does this ball over the top which is almost good <laughs> Alexander gets it but unfortunately the keeper's off his line very quick and takes it away from Alexander's feet uh, still 3-2 Medin should put it should make it 4-2 and put me to sleep uh, but he doesn't but being here he continues his resurgence stops the throw in and wins one of his own I don't know what's going on I'm thinking Bean he's, he's turned a corner he is back in this game he could save us Bean you are a legend and here he goes again, he's through, he's got plenty of time, plenty of space, cuts inside, he's actually got a shot on goal, will he score? No, 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 Be Bean won't score, let's be honest. Uh, but it's getting towards the end of the second half, and Bean's had a pretty good second half extra time, so he's going to step up to take this, and, you know, whip it in, one good cross, Bean, and it could all, could all go right for you, but no, it bobbles about in the box. But eventually, eventually, it comes back to Bean, and this happens cut inside, cut outside, cut inside oh Bean you beauty you have had the worst 119 minutes of your career <laughs> well 115, you had a pretty good second half of extra time and he does this oh Bean you have saved Brentford from the brink of defeat uh, but that hero ends <laughs> it goes straight to penalties, I sped these penalties up because they're not particularly interesting as penalties really aren't uh, Curran misses his after a hat trick, what a shame, poor Curran <laughs> Alexander makes no mistake. Um, I don't know who's up next, actually. Medine makes no mistake. You know, they're fairly standard penalties. I thought I'd lost connection there, but it was just some connection issues with us both. McDonald's makes no, McDonald makes no mistake. Uh, Bridge Wilkinson, too, makes no mistake. I think I've missed one now. Weston misses, does he? Yeah. Oh, no, Weston hits it right above the keeper's head. Thurwell, he makes no mistake. There aren't many mistakes being made here. Tudor Jones cocked it up. I thought I was going to lose from here on in, but Taiwo, you know, he's been crap all game to be fair, did a few tricks, but didn't do very well. I was wishing this was going to be Bean, but it's not, it's O'Connor, 
Captain O'Connor steps up and seals the win for Brentford. Brentford win the Johnston's Paint Trophy and that is episode one of the finals of 2011. Thank you so much for watching. Next up is the Carlin Cup final. But till then, I've been Canteen Pierce 3, you have been awesome and until next time, take care.